Well, <laughs> I just realized I hadn't turned the microphone on. So the first about 20 something seconds of that was completely nothing. Uh, but I was saying that I've noticed on the last couple of videos that the Twitch stream does not seem to pick up me talking for a little while. Not this time. It was absolutely because I had not turned the microphone on like a dope. But I don't know why it's not picking me up on some of those other ones. It just doesn't seem to. I've just noticed it when I've gone to post. When I've reviewed the videos, there's a cutoff where you can. I just start talking out of nowhere. So. I don't know why that's happening. Not a big deal. I mean, I'm generally not saying anything of real importance in the first five minutes. I generally figure the first five minutes is for people to, you know, see the alert, get to a computer, whatever, for those who actually care and join the stream. So I'm not overly concerned about it. It's not a big deal, but it is kind of odd, I guess is the only way to put it. Um, I don't know why that is. It's got to be some kind of lag, I guess, with the with the stream itself. Whatever. Not not a big deal. Like I said, it's not nobody's really missing anything by not by not showing up in the first and missing the first minute of me talking. It's usually just me rambling and there's not anybody here usually. So not a tremendously big deal. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Um Yeah, not a huge deal. Just interesting. That's all. And yeah. So happy Wednesday, everybody. Going to be a short stream today because I, I, as I think I've mentioned a bunch of times probably by now on these streams, I've been working on commissions for my Magic the Gathering cards, which has been great. But I, this is this is pretty much, ironically, these streams are kind of a break during the week from the stuff I've been doing with those and it's it's an interesting experience because it's I mean don't get me wrong I, I I love doing them I truly do love doing them but man it is hard it has just been very very tough to get used to working at that small scale I, I know I've said that before so I apologize I'm kind of repeating myself so these streams are sort of a break from that work in a sense because physical is just so much easier to work in I don't really have to worry the way I do with those I, I it, it, that is the hardest part is when I get to the last bit of one of those cards is when I'm actually the most kind of terrified because if I make a mistake there, all those hours of work are just shot. And, um, and fortunately, knock on whatever wooden substance is nearby, fortunately, I have not had a major incident in that respect yet. I have not run into something where when I got to the end of a card, I made a mistake. At least not one that I couldn't recover from. I have made some small errors on some of them, but that is where I've gotten to practice. What I remember one of my art teachers always saying is one of the things that, you know, an artist has to know how to do, which is get yourself out of a jam. So I've made small errors. Fortunately, they've been very small and they really were not detrimental to the, the image. They weren't something that I think most people would even notice. Other artists might know, you know, somebody who works on cards, that type of thing. That kind of person might see it, might not, because, you know, it. what is considered an error to one artist might not be something that's perceptible to another. So, you know, would somebody else notice it? I, maybe, but, uh, but I've been lucky. I have been very lucky that I haven't made any major mistakes because that is the thing that I really am just afraid of is I'll get a card that I... I've had a couple that I've really liked how they're turning out. And then I start to get towards the end and I go, oh man, don't, don't screw it up now. Because if you mess it up now, then, you know, you're in a lot of trouble. So, um, but luckily has not happened, has not happened yet. So hopefully that will continue to be the case. I'm going to ship some more out tomorrow. Four more are going out to all Americans this time, which has been unusual because, uh, I've generally had a few internationals in the bunch, but. The ones all going out uh, tomorrow, not that it matters. I don't really care where they go. They can go wherever. But it is it is kind of funny because I've had generally at least one international one every single time. And this will be the first time in a while where that is not happening. Where I, what do you call it? Where it's an all-American mailing. All four are going to American addresses. None of them in the same place. 
but you know, um, yeah. Okay. Well, I've been by, bam. I've been bambling. There's a word, bambling. I've been bambling. I think it was, I don't know, rambling, and what would the other word be? Bum bum. Bambling. We'll stick with bambling. I'm gonna take a drink of water, and then we'll get started here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Let's jump over. There we go. Back to the skull. I actually forgot what I was working on. I knew there was something I liked that I was working on. I couldn't remember what it was. And it is this skull with the thing on it. Which, as I think I said in my last stream, is based on... This was the basis for a card image, actually. And uh, and I really liked it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep running with it. Let's see. what. Uh, I'm going to switch up my brushes here. I don't remember which particular brush I was on. Probably the tech pen. I doubt it was that small. No, it wasn't. That's something else I'm working on that I used a small pen on. So we'll go to, I guess we'll do the blob now. Because we've got the skull pretty much locked in outside of, you know, some smaller details. But we'll get to those. So is this the skull? Did I make this a group? I didn't. Like a fool, I did not. So let's group this up just so it's all together. Maybe not the black areas. We'll keep that as black will be the color. And there we go. Let's take a quick look. I think we're good on the lines as far as intersections. So we'll go ahead and create a couple more. Let's group these up. This will be the blob or whatever we're going to call the thing on the top, which I'm going to make a little different. I want to make it more blobby and slobby. So let's get a let's get our pen sized correctly. Which is probably, I, I doubt it's 20. Oh, no, it's not 20. Maybe 10. 10 or 8. It's almost always 10 or 8. Uh, hmm. Might be 8. Let's see. Might be eight. It's tough to tell sometimes what these sizes are. Okay, yeah, eight. I think I'm going to go with eight. I'll say it's eight. Eight is great. It's commercial. Sorry if you don't know what that means. Don't worry, neither do I really. Okay, so let's get our blobby eye thing happening here. Like I said, I'm just going to I'm gonna make it more flowy and blobby on this version than I did on the card. Not going to be drastically different, but just kind of... Okay, not that. That line looks very... That's more of a craggy rock line as opposed to a blobby, slobby eye. There we go. Just want to make it seem like it's kind of flowing over the skull more than my other one was. Let's jump to a different layer. Yeah, so see like here, I want it to kind of feel like it's dripping more. I mean, I have the drips, you can see them, but I want the actual substance of the... You know what, let me... Let me do this. Let me duplicate this group. And then I will... I don't think I would need... I want to flatten that one so that I can turn it down. There we go. I don't know that I would need those other layers, but just in case. I don't like to destroy things like that. Just in case. So, yeah. Oh, oh, wrong layer. Wrong layer! Is this layer? No, it's this layer. Got it. See, I want to have it more like it's coming over the skull. Yeah, there we go more flowing into it because the original is pretty good does that look uneven that does look uneven okay yeah we got to redo that um it looks too uneven to me the outside part looks too uneven you know i would like to have some balance to this so what we need to do i still want it to be blobby and flowy but yeah more like that there we go just just a little correction stuff Little correctional stuff. All right, let's see. Okay. Yeah. I'll fix that stuff later. I don't mind if that's uneven. I don't mind that a little more of the skull is showing here than it's showing over here. That's okay. That kind of imbalance. But the mass itself, the mass itself, I would like to feel like that's somewhat of a, of a you know, balanced kind of weight or blobbiness or whatever we're going to call it. Maybe more of this. Just try to blend that in oh, I couldn't tell what I was listening to I every time I I don't know why I never remember that I have music playing in the background but I keep hearing this noise I'm like what is that and it's the music that I've got playing in the background genius you put it there moron <laughs> all right let's do uh this okay uh, not the sharpest knife in the drawer that's for sure Nobody would ever accuse me of that. Okay. 
All right, let's see. Yep, so we got the blob pretty much laid out. I, the tentacles is gonna be the interesting part. I'm just gonna have to, I gotta work that out. I can never get those to look the way I want them to. It's just, I never get it right. Maybe, maybe I'll crack the code this time with this one at some point. I seriously doubt it, but can't say for sure. Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, so let's put another layer on the old uh, eyeball pile here. And we'll put one eyeball here, so let's do that. And we'll have one sticking out of here. I'm just putting these in more is just to make sure I know where everything is. Ooh, that's not, I don't like the shape of that at all. Let's try this again. Let's swoop that. No, that's too, it's too elongated. That's too low. There we go. Okay, we'll have another eyeball there, like we did in the original, and then I'll have one kind of drooping now. Yeah. Nah, I don't like that. Like that, maybe? Yeah, okay, that's the background eyeballs. And then we'll have our front side ones. I'm gonna worry too much about that. I can ellipse that, that's fine. Put one like this. Actually, you know what? Hmm. You know what I think I want to do? I think I'm going to do something different with this. I think instead of having it like it is in this image, I think I want to have a more, what's the word for it? Like a central eyeball, like a big center one and then kind of two flanking ones. So maybe what I'll do is something like this. Where that's the, okay, it's not centered though. Let me, I would like to center it. Let me, oh, there we go, there we go. Let's see. Um, so actually what I should have is a symmetry just to get a sense of where I'm gonna be. Oh, that symmetry line is way off. Okay, let's edit that. I mean, it isn't, the image is off, but what is it? Oh, done, I was like, what? I didn't I know what I was looking at on the screen for a second. I figured it out. That's probably about even. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do, that's an assisted layer. Oh, no, no, we don't want that to be the assist layer. We want another layer. We'll make that the assist layer. Okay, here we go. So we wanna just make a, this is the eye socket, not the eye itself. Um, so let's do that. And then I can just put a circle in there. And then the other two eyes don't need to be symmetrical. I want the center, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. The central eye I'd like to be symmetrical. I don't care so much about the other ones, that's okay. And there won't be any top eye. There will be some version of this eye. Okay, not that though. So something like that. Jeez, really? Come on, just complete the line. There we go. And then something like this, and I'm not worried about them being exactly the same size or anything. The central eye is more important in this particular instance. Let's throw another layer on there, and let's do our eyeball in the center. Make a nice big circle. That might not be big enough, but we'll see. Uh, oh no, that's okay. That's not bad, I don't mind that. Okay, so where's the actual center of the image? Does it show what the center of the image is? Oh, that's the center. Wow, really, that's the center. Huh, okay. So that's the actual center. Interesting. So let's take this out, take this group, and we'll take this group. Well, what I gotta do is do this. Now I can center the, oh, my mistake. Now I can center the whole thing. That's really interesting. Because it's saying that's true center for the actual, the rest of it, but obviously it's not even that way. So I think I'm gonna stick with that. This I can just move over. This is not as vital to have lined up. It's really not, there we go. Okay, that feels central enough. Okay, uh, so now we'll just shatter these back out. Well, I mean, I can leave it. it. doesn't matter if it's like that. All right, this goes back in here. I actually kind of like that that eye now looks like it's looking down. That might be all right. I might stick with that. That might be an accident that works out. Okay, so let me think about this. Um, let me look at... Let me look at something. I'm just looking something up on my phone really quick. Um, face... Profile. I just want to see what an eyeball looks like when it's turned sideways. 
Well, you know what the problem is? These are all people who are barely using their eyes for anything. Um. Yeah, that's not a good what? Like a chameleon. Let me look at chameleon. Chameleon. Let's take a look at a chameleon's eyes. Even though it's not really a one-to-one -one for something like this. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was pointless. All right. So what I gotta do is um, it, it didn't help me at all. That's fine. It really doesn't matter. This is not vital. But we'll do another eye circle here. That might be a little large for what I want, which is something like. See, I don't want it to be like that. Ah, that doesn't. That doesn't look right at all. I think I was better off with my original idea. Empty layer, yes. Which is just like an ellipse in here. Something like that. Yeah, okay, that's all right. Because the eye's not gonna look quite right. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate that. We'll do a flip. Okay, no. Move that over to there. Doesn't have to be on the same plane or anything, just moving it in general. Yeah, and then I can have the stuff go on there. A Lovecraft, yes! Yes, Cthulhu cap. Cth Cthulhu, Cthulhu cap. Cthulhu? That's how you're supposed to say it, right? Cthulhu cap? Not cap, but Cthulhu. That's how you're supposed to pronounce it, isn't it? I don't know. I've heard different people pronounce it different ways. That's how I always pronounced it, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm mispronouncing it. Oh, my dog's giving me a stare. It is not time for you to eat. So I don't know what you're... You're, you're not barking up the wrong tree. You're looking at the wrong tree. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I don't want to have that center. I don't want to have the top eye. I think I'm just going to stick with the three eyes on the front. Three times three eyes, I think, is an anime series, I'm pretty sure. I always thought that title was neat, but I watched one of them and I didn't like it. Um, this wasn't for me. I think it's three times three eyes. I always thought it was a neat, I, I always thought it was a neat title for a show. I just never got into the show. Uh, okay, where's... All right, let's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was three times three eyes. Let's see. Okay. Take those off. Just so we get a little bit of the physicality of what we're doing here. Okay. Okay. All right. And let's get these. I have a new PC that will be coming next week, which I'm excited for. I actually had somebody build it for me. I went back and forth. I was going to build it. Honestly, I just felt like customizing it, let somebody else build it. I just didn't feel like it. Probably the next one again. I'll probably miss it when I get it. Go, oh, you know. I miss building one, but I just didn't feel like it. I just, not to mention, apparently, and this is bonkers. Well, I guess, no, I guess this isn't bonkers when you think about how supply works. To buy the same video card if I bought it myself would have been four times as much for me to buy the card as opposed to putting the card into a build. So e even the monetary thing that you normally save on building your own computer did not apply. So it was the better decision in the end run. In the end. Boy, it resisted me yawning until just now. Interesting. I thought maybe I was going to get through it without, but probably not. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, I think that's the right decision. I think going with that is the right decision. The, uh, the, uh, the non bunch of eyes. I think this is better. All right, let's do some shadow areas here. All right, so we'll put a little bit of a. Uh, let's let's sell them later, right? Yes. So we'll do a little bit of the. Let's do some rippling here. This will become some shadowy area. Cthulhu shower cap. That is funny. Okay, and then we'll have it come down here. We'll do that. There we go. Yeah, that's all right. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. I'll say, I'll say that ain't too bad. Fortunately, I cannot do a good foghorn leghorn. Find the character hysterical. Cannot imitate it whatsoever. I'm not good at impersonations, generally. I, I For a couple of years, I could do a good Jesse Ventura, and I somehow have lost that. That's the only one I've ever really been able to do. You're just not an impressions person. Ironically, I just had uh, 
Brian Korfoth on my show, and I meant to have him do impressions because he's great at them. He does a great Stan Lee, probably one of the best Stan Lees I've ever heard. Never got to it in the course of the whole show. Never got around to, talk, to doing the impression thing, which is, I, I specifically put in my notes, have him do some impressions. Ne or impression, Im yeah, no, impersonations. No, impressions. Never got to it. Never got to it. So it, this is why I will never work at doing something like at, at interviewing, right? Because I just, I can't keep anything straight. Anyway. Okay, let's do... Now that I thought about yawning, I'm doing it, which I'm sorry. I don't know why I do that. I'm not tired. I am not tired. But whatever. Okay. So let's do some kind of lobby lines. Oh, you know what? I want a thinner line for that. It's thicker than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's better. I should use it. Ah, no, I'm not going to use the tape thing. Paper thing is all right for some stuff, but I don't want to. I don't need to use it on everything. Uh, let's see. Turn that off for a minute. Yeah. Let's see what we're doing. Oh man, the yawning thing is really bothering me because I don't know why it happens. I really don't. If I was tired, it would be. I'd have an explanation for it. The fact that I'm not is just, it's annoying to me. Because I just feel like it's, nobody wants to hear it. You know, but I keep doing it and I don't really know why. And I'm, I don't have a problem sleeping. So it's not that I'm tired. I, I sleep fine. I'm very thankful I sleep fine. I know people who have trouble sleeping. And man, that I, I don't know how I would handle that. I Well, I wouldn't handle it. I'd go crazy. I love the fact that I can just fall asleep. I mean, I can wake up and fall right back asleep. One thing I do not complain about, even during the pandemic, when a lot of people started having sleep, I never had that. Never had that. Got very lucky. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the pic that the pandemic was any picnic for me. And I say that as if it's over when it's not. But, you know, that's society for you. Everybody's just sick of it. So, fine. What I can do about that. Nothing I can do about it. Just keep doing the same stuff I've been doing all along. Okay, so let me think about this. Let me think about this. Yeah, because in the original, I didn't really go that far with it. Oh, I can do the slime coming off of it. So let's get the slime in there. Let's put that down. One. I don't know why it does that. It This thing defaults to putting the last thing. And I always like when it does that. Yeah, let's do that again. It defaults to putting the last one outside the group. It doesn't really give you the option not to. Or, or maybe it does, and I just don't know how to do it. That's possible. Okay, so let's do some slime. Some rolling slime. It's coming out from underneath it. Here we go. Yep. And this would fall line the skull down. Okay. Put that up there. This is rolling along the brow. Or no, I don't like that at all. Nope, nope, nope. Reversing that. No! Start from before it. There we go. There we are. Yep. Jeez, the friggin' Queen song, Do You Want to Live Forever, just popped into my head for some reason. I do have to watch Highlander again. I haven't watched it in a while. Ow, man. Scratch my nose. Uh... I'm not going to... Okay. Can't do impersonations, can't sing, so I'm not even going to start with that. Let's not even start wandering down that road because nobody wants to hear that. Okay. Um, geez, the yawning. Just irritating me. Okay. Let's do this. So I'll put an eyeball... Oh, no, no, no. New layer. New layer. New layer. Okay, I'll put an eyeball right there. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Oh, well, wow, that's easy to fix. Except it isn't because then I have to go into the edit scene. Well, let's see. Let's see. Did it? Did it? Actually, I didn't check for updates on this thing. I doubt there were any. I seriously doubt there were any. But on the off chance, did it come back? No, it didn't come back. See, it's so stupid. Um, 
Hold on, I'm just going to make sure. Where is it? I don't even know where the check for update. Oh, here it is. Check for updates. I don't think there was any because. Unbelievable. Sorry, I killed the stream. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I did was do the, the update thing and it crashed the whole stream. I mean, you would think maybe, maybe it would have come up and said, doing this will disrupt your stream. No, it just crashed the whole thing and restarted it. Unfriggin' real. I, I tell you, there are days. There are days where I wonder if this is really worth the effort of doing it. But, but I still enjoy it. <laughs> I, I mean, the thing didn't even give me a warning. It didn't even give me a warning. It just crashed it. What kind of program is this? You know? Hold on, now I want to see what this does. Okay, that did nothing. So, <sighs> whatever. Whatever, I, I've often said, if you're using something and it's free, you can't really complain about it. Obviously, I can't really complain about it because it is free, so I guess I should just shut up, but it's... That seems like a basic thing, is that if you're going to perform an operation that will crash the stream, then maybe have a thing that pops up and says, hi, dope, this might crash your stream. Do you, are you sure you want to do it? And then you could say, no, I'm not dumb. I wouldn't crash my stream by running an update in the middle of it if I know it's going to disrupt it, as opposed to just checking and saying, yes, there's an update. No, let's just run it. Anyway. <sighs> Sorry. <It's> just, <laughs> this, is, this, is, this has been a day of just baffling software stupid stuff. In a week of it. I, I, I started to do a short show about Google and I did a couple versions of it and I'm just sick of complaining about Google because Google sucks and like a lot of things, I don't have any patience for it anymore. People are so tolerant of this stuff. I was listening to a show where somebody says, oh, I'm going to give, I'm going to give Google a pass on this because they, they had a second security update that was late. They had one last month that was late when there was a huge security vulnerability. And then this year, this month, there isn't one again and there's no explanation. Also, my Pixel phone, which is supposed to be the greatest phone that Google could make because it's an integration of the closest you get of their hardware and software put together and the camera app, which on a, a cell phone now in the current age is the one of the marquee, if not the marquee feature and has been one of these things that Google talks about how great it is, it will just lock up for no reason. On, the, on Google's own phone, I'm not doing anything special. It's the stock app, and it just gets hung up for no reason. Explain that. But then the company can't ship their own security updates on time or tell anybody why. So should I be surprised? Am I shocked by this? I shouldn't be, because this is how Google does things. And this is the manufacturer that the brains, big quotes around that word, behind one of only two major phone OS's. So you either got to pick iOS and all the stuff that comes with that and the lock-in and all the rest of the nonsense they're doing. And trust me, they're going to end up like Google soon enough in terms of, not like Google in terms of incompetency, not Google is the wrong word, but like Microsoft with all the subscriptions and everything. Or you got to go over to Google, which used to be kind of the, come on in, you know, we, we're, we're, we're giving you a nice open experience. It's just garbage. Sorry. I don't usually vent on these streams. These are meant to be nice, relaxing streams. But it's just been a week like that where I'm just seeing the worst of technology in like every way and how it's maintained and how it's not maintained and the fact that nobody seems to even care unless there's a ton of money in it, which I know that's the whole thing. Like that's, that's the United States. That's the world. It's, if there ain't 10 bucks in it, they don't care if there's one. So they toss it or they don't care. They don't put the effort in. Fine. Okay. I guess that's where we are. I am just a ranting old man now. I'm going to stop because that, I'm just 
flying off into space. Back to our skull with a Cthulhu shower cap. Okay, so we got the eyeballs in. Sorry, I just was like, bleh, lost my mind for a minute there. All right, so we got our eyeballs in. I actually kind of like the fact that those two have those ellipses eyeballs. That's nice. So I'm enjoying that. So let's give them, let's see. Let me see the size of this. Yeah, that's the same size. Um, let's knock it down to, what's five look like? Okay, I like five. Eh. Let's go to four. What's four look? Eh, it's still too big. Three? Yeah, three's all right. I think three's where I was anyway, so I kind of arrived back where I started. Okay, so let's take our brush and let's put some, now uh, let's start outside of it just to make sure it's a little bit smoother. We'll put some sagginess to it. There we go. Yeah, put this around here. Okay. So yes, my new machine will be here. I think it's currently scheduled for Monday, but it's FedEx, so who knows? Let's not start on that because that'll just be another me yelling at the sky moment. But it's projected to get here on Monday. So it'll be the first system I've ever had that has water cooling. I've never been interested in it, but it's one of these supposedly sealed systems where you never have to worry about adding water. So, okay. And apparently now everything requires it because of all the heat, which is not something I'm looking forward to, but that's modern processors. That's how they are. Especially if you're going Intel, which I'm sticking with Intel. I know AMD is, a lot of people say it's better. I don't doubt that it is, but it's kind of like everything else. I stick with the stuff that I know until it burns me. So, what with Intel? And uh, sticking with NVIDIA for the graphics card. Because I have one now and I think it performs pretty well. So, again, sticking with the stuff that, until something burns me, I stick with it. Kind of, that's my... That's my general approach to loyalty with things, is I stick with them until they burn me somehow. All right, so let's do this. Oh, whoa, that's a really small brush. Oh yeah, no, no, that's too small. We gotta go, gotta go way up from that. And I wanna go further, let's go to 10. 10, let's try it. Yeah, 10 I can deal with. Yeah, there we go. I don't mind a taper brush for this. This is nice. I don't mind a taper brush at all. I say that as if I hate the taper brush normally. I actually grown quite fond of it, to be honest. It's working for me, as I've said a number of times now, in a way that I really never would have guessed because this is just not something I've ever really used. But this one's all right. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So we'll use that for the little our accent shadow line down here. This will all be black on the interior, so it won't matter. Did I just make that line? Yeah, I did. I was curious about something. Yeah. I, ca I can't quite get the hang of that initial thing. Oh, I guess I just did, but I'm not, I'm not quite good at the initial taper. It's easy for me to take my finger off and have the taper happen. Like, I'm pretty good at that. You can see that, but the initial one, I'm not so good at. I'm not really sure why. It doesn't seem like it'd be all that difficult, but... Um, as you can see in the ones I'm making, there's always a little hook to it. It's just the way I guess my hand is. It's just the way I draw stuff. But not a huge deal. Doesn't doesn't actually impact anything. When I need to, I can make it straight. It just takes some effort. That's okay. That's not a big deal with time, is it? Oh, yeah. yeah, no. Time is flying on this second stream. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <It's>, <sighs> doesn't warn you. Just crashes. Tell you, I tell you, I tell you. And they want to computerize cars more, right? That's a great idea. I can only imagine. At one point, at the point where computers run everything in cars. I mean, it makes it sound makes me sound like a luddite, which I'm not. I just think um, sometimes I think we rush a little bit too far into. Ooh, I just had an idea for. A, that just reminded me of an idea I had for a uh, short show. I have to keep that in mind. Gotta keep that in the back of the mind, because I think I have something. Some weeks I struggle to come up with something. This has been one of those weeks, but I think I just remembered something that I actually do want to talk about. So, I probably will. Uh, let's see here. 
Okay. Oh, let's see, is that the black level right there? Or is that a line? That's a line. Where is that line? It's not that line. It's probably this. No, this. That, there it is. Let's just get rid of that little thing there. At least till I figure out what I want to do. See, Google will have a... F <laughs> yeah, they reversed it. Did you see that? They had to revoke it. Yeah, 5 million files. Yeah, everybody went so crazy, they changed it. They, they've now released that. They're going to they're gonna think about the feedback they've received. Yeah, they're going to think about that. About the fact that people who pay for these things and the fact that this, this limit was never disclosed. Hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneeze. i got to mute this. Woo, just in time. Yeah, they're, they're going to go back and they're going to have some meetings and some, some brown bag conferences and think about whether doing things like suddenly imposing a file limit that doesn't make any sense because it's based on file number as opposed to file size, they're, they're going to consider whether maybe that was a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. You do, do that, Google. Go out there and think about what you're doing and how stupid it is. I'm not going to start back down on that, but yes, I did see the file limit thing and uh, I can't even pretend I was surprised because again, that seemed like just a, a facet. You know, it, th there are people and I do agree with this. In some ways, this type of stuff is good because it is getting, it, hopefully this will be the thing that gets people to realize that using these free services is there is a cost. They're, they're not going to stay free forever. They're not really free. And, you know, there, there has been a kind of, we got very used to or suckered into the concept of everything being free, all these services being free as if they came out of the air, which they never did. You know, the idea of the cloud is always laughable to me. I mean, not the concept of it, it's, it works. But people literally, I think, when they hear the cloud, they think it's some kind of free computer in the sky. And they're not, you know, they don't, they don't really understand what the cloud is. And the fact that, yes, it costs money just because it doesn't seem to be residing on your device doesn't mean there's not computing devices involved that require energy and places to store and have a cost. You know, it, we, we just got used to everything being quote unquote free and it never has been. It was, it was internally subsidized, if anything. You know, Google ate the cost on it because they were gathering data and because, like many other companies, at some point they knew that once the the free ride wasn't doing enough for them, they would simply start charging for everything. And that's, I don't even necessarily think that's a bad idea. I think it's a good idea for people to understand that there is a cost to stuff, that, that there is no free anything. So, you know, I see stuff like that. The messaging of it was completely not handled i mean it wasn't handled at all i was gonna say it wasn't handled right it wasn't handled at all it just suddenly started happening as far as i can tell there was no announcement that i saw or anything like that it's just people started discovering it and then found that there was this limit i, I don't know even how what the publicity or you know i don't think google announced it they just suddenly started imposing this cap but i don't think there was any type of warning or anything like that as far as i understand there definitely wasn't one people just started running into it but i don't think there was any type of notice that Google sent out saying, hey, we're going to be uh, enforcing this cap on XX date. I don't believe that happened. At least a lot of the people who were who were complaining about it seem to have no indication. I'm not talking about just random people on Reddit because you can't really trust that. But I'm talking about industry people, professionals, people who, you know, work in technology. They did not seem to be aware this was going to happen. And these are people who pay attention to the stuff that Google does, and they didn't seem to know it was going to happen. That tells me that they didn't do it at all right. So, yes, I saw it. I'm not surprised by it, but I do think that unintentionally, it's probably a good thing for people to understand what this stuff is actually doing and the fact that it does actually have a cost. And once you realize that it costs somebody to do it, then the next logical question to oneself should be, well, wait a minute. If this is costing them something, why is it free to me? Ah, yes. Why is it? Think about that a bit. The reality is, it isn't. It's just that you're the product and 
that seems to be, that particular ship seems to be running aground pretty hard. So now it's becoming, well, we're gonna charge you for everything. I mean, look at YouTube TV, which started out as Cairo's like, yay, core cutting, woo. Cause you know, YouTube TV is so much cheaper and you get all this great stuff. Well, now it's as much as a cable subscription. Because of course it is, it costs money. It was always gonna be. The, the you know, the idea of free services that could ne that was never sustainable. Things have a cost. Whoa, that's the wrong brush. Entirely the wrong brush. Woo. So yeah, I'm, it doesn't surprise me. It, it's it's sort of funny how badly they. I I and this is where you have to sit here and go. Who, who's who's making these decisions and what? Where is their brain? How did they not know? How did nobody say there's probably going to be a major backlash to this guy? So do we want to maybe? roll this out with some kind of warning? Do we want to maybe communicate a bit to the users? No, let's just do it. I mean, whoever whoever is in charge of that decision-making tree or whatever, it, it should be fired. Fired! Just fired! You, you didn't think about the fact that people were going to get irritated that their file structures and everything were suddenly, or not structures, but that their accounts were suddenly going to be drastically different or cut off? I don't know. What do I know? I don't work in the marketing and communications department of any big company. And maybe it's because I would say something like that to somebody and get fired. So perhaps it is me who is the fool for thinking that, you know, somebody might have some kind of communication ability on or be able to communicate to somebody else that, hey, uh, you probably want to roll this type of change and this limitation out slowly and let people have time to prepare for it, as opposed to just enforcing it. But again, random idiot on the internet. What do I know? So, but yes, I did see that. And I, I must admit, I had no shortage of amusement at the fact that it happened. Uh, not amusing to people who were affected by it, obviously. There, there are people who were, as far as they understood, using it, paying for access to this thing and using it within what they believed was the appropriate use of it, and suddenly they're still locked out of their stuff. That's got to suck. But honestly, and, and honestly, that, would, that, that should make them reconsider what they're doing. Do I want to use a service from a company that will do this? I don't think you do. I think maybe you want to get out of that and go to something else that maybe you pay for and therefore have some type of contractual understanding on what they're going to do with it. Which is not to say that, that, that another company doing cloud storage could not suddenly do the same thing. But when there's money involved, they tend to notify people. There tends to be, you know, probably aspects of the terms of service that protect you from a sudden change like that. Whereas with Google, what is there? What, what, what contract is there to be enforced? None. Because there is no contract. I mean, there is. There are terms of service. Don't get me wrong. They have a terms of service. But there's nothing in there where they have to pledge to you anything in terms of the service or what they owe you, if anything. And that's, you know, that's where that type of stuff falls down. So like I said, the, the benefit for this for some people might be to sit there and go, well, we've relied on this particular thing for so long because we've been using it forever and it was perfectly fine, but maybe this is not the right solution for what we're doing. And so in that way, these things are actually, I think, to some degree, can be beneficial. Because complacency just makes it very easy to ignore or not consider the, you know, what, what you're doing and what it might result in. So, yes. That is an extraordinarily long answer to a simple, yes, I did see the thing about the Google file limit. And I, again, I was at first kind of baffled. I mean, I'm still baffled by parts of it, but I do think it may be a beneficial thing for everybody to kind of realize what's going on. Okay. Well, I said it was gonna be a short stream and it is because now I have to go and get dinner started and I just need to give my hand a break. <laughs> Drawing lots of stuff on small scale is 
it taxes me a bit. So yeah, let's go ahead and whoop, move over to here. But this is still a fun image. I'm having fun with the skull and the, the blob on top because I think it's neat. So yeah, oh, let me, let me stop sharing this. Um, stop mirroring just so it doesn't try to. So yeah, yeah, sorry that the stream got wrecked in the middle area. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks for stopping by. I uh, did not mean to kill the stream midstream like that, but you know, that's how it goes. So yeah, everybody have a wonderful rest of whatever it is for you. If it is Wednesday night, have a wonderful Wednesday night. If it's Thursday morning, have a great Thursday in general or whatever. Go out there and try to create something and try to do it with less bile than I had in this stream. I apologize for my midstream mind ranting because I generally try not to do that, but I just, it has been an interesting week in terms of my tolerance for software problems and what's going on with it. In any event, go out there, create something, have fun doing it. Thank you for stopping by and checking out the stream. We'll see you on the next one where I will try not to ramble about anything that I'm being bothered by. I'll try to keep it whoosh, positivity 100% through. Can't guarantee it. Can't do that, but we'll try. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for stopping by. Have a uh, wonderful time creating in whatever context you can. See you on the next stream and take care.